And on the line with us, Greg Pallas, the investigative journalist, author, filmmaker. His latest is Vigilante, his latest film, Vigilante, Georgia's vote suppression hitman. Uh, you can find it, uh, link to it from gregpallas.com or the, uh, the website for the movie itself is vigilantemovie.com. Uh, Greg Pallas is, uh, his Twitter handle is Greg underscore Pallas, and of course, gregpallas.com, his website. Greg, uh, what's, what's up in, in Georgia? You're, yeah, I believe you're in Georgia right now. I am very much in Atlanta, and I've got some very bad news for you. Um, we just got the information that there are only 204,000 ballots that were mailed in or put into drop boxes. You have to understand that in 2020, it was 1.2 million. We've gone to 0.2 million. That's a million ballots just And how did that happen? Brian Kemp, who's in his rematch with Stacey Abrams today, uh, signed a bill SB202, which all but made voting by mail illegal. Uh, what they did was is that you have to add in ID, uh, identification on your absentee ballot, but even more, they've locked away the, lock, the drop boxes. They are, uh, they've uh, cut them from over 100 to less than 25. They're locked away in state offices so that, you know, after hours you can't use them. It's really difficult to mail in your ballot now and get it counted, to get it or to get it counted. So a million ballots are lost. Now, here's the problem. Almost all the mail-in ballots, not when I said almost all, the vast majority of mail-in ballots are from black Democrats. Over half a million ballots came in by mail in 2020 from the four big black counties out of 159. So you end up with a massive, massive deficit of black votes. They've also you know, cut early voting hours. There was no souls to the polls this weekend. It's really grim, and so now what so, I'm looking Greg, at. Greg, if, yeah. if, if I could interrupt you, uh, uh, what is prohibiting or preventing those voters who would have preferred to vote by mail from just showing up in person? Is it that we're talking about a black working class that that uh, just can't take time off work? Well, yeah, we have a big problem that we know from uh, from during the COVID period, especially in Georgia, that there was a the uh, vast majority of Democrats voted by mail at, or filled out their ballots and put them in drop boxes. So this is something that cuts the, bl the uh, black and Democratic vote. Uh, it's some, there's all kinds of reasons why people can't take the day off or they get in these long lines. That, remember, they've cut the number of early voting stations, the number of voting stations. Uh, there, was li there were lines this morning at a station where um, uh, one voter told me they'd never seen lines. In early in the morning. In many ways, it's good because people are making up for the fact that they couldn't mail in their ballot and they're showing up. Uh, but I've spoken to some uh, elections supervisors who said they can't see how physically you can get enough voters in to make up for the mail ballot loss. Plus, remember, you're talking, in some cases, uh, we had uh, C.K. Hoffler was in line for five and a half hours. She's the head of Rainbow Push nationally. Um, and we've had other people reporting 11-hour waits in, in uh, prior elections. This is in, in the early voting. And so we're talking a massive problem here. And remember, you give someone a glass of water or a slice of pizza while they're waiting in line four hours, you can go to prison for, felony, uh, for a felony offense. They're doing everything they can to put in blockades in the big urban counties. You don't have this cut in drop boxes. In fact, you have an increase in drop boxes in the right white rural counties this is not this is actually by state law so the state law signed by governor brian kemp you know his controversial and probably um unlawful win in 2018 he's, he's not taking a chance today. he's on the ballot today against stacey abrams and so is reverend senator warnock against herschel walker it's going to be very difficult to overcome this million vote uh, mail-in deficit uh obviously people are coming out it's a big increase. Plus, you have other problems. You've got these. The second thing we have here that I've reported on and uncovered is the uh, is the core of our film, Vigilante. You have these massive individuals, these people who are self deput or deputized by Governor Kemp, but they are not government officials, who are willy nilly. So far, I've counted 149 thousand challenges. That's approximately 12 times uh, Joe Biden's margin in 2020. So you have massive challenges against voters. Uh, we've talked about Major Gamaliel Turner. Just yesterday, I found another soldier whose vote was challenged. He's been blocked because he was assigned to Fort Hood in Texas. 
So Georgians, the supposedly pro-military governor, uh, is blocking the votes of Georgians assigned elsewhere. And they know that these are mostly, you know, these are minority uh, soldiers that they are blocking. So 149,000 challenges to voters from these vigilantes. And by the way, you want to know what the evidence that, that these are illegal voters? This one treasurer, the GOP, uh, nailed this uh, soldier by submitting his Facebook, his Facebook uh, statement that he had gone to Fort Hood, but he has a Hispanic girlfriend there. And they kept showing pictures from her, from her Facebook page. He has a Texas Hispanic girlfriend. So you lose your vote in Georgia. You like that? Wow. Wow. So they're, they're literally tracking down black voters looking for evidence that they shouldn't be voting in Georgia. But I thought if you were in the military, you could go anywhere in the world and you still vote in your home state by mail. Oh, well, T Tom, you don't lose your citizenship by joining the military and being assigned by, by the president of the United States, whether it's Texas or uh, Iraq. Yeah. Uh, you don't lose your vote by going to the military. Well, you do and being if you live in somewhere. Georgia, apparently. Well, if you live in Georgia, like I say, I was with, you know, again, Major Gamaliel Turner, um, who has been very public about the fact that he was assigned to California and they kicked his vote because they said, oh, you don't live in Georgia anymore. No, he was assigned to uh, Fort right. Wayne in, uh, in California. Right. He's on federal He's on property. a military base. He's not it's, in a state, actually, literally. <laughs> I mean, he is, you know, he's serving our country, and this is happening all over. In fact, in, I went through a list from this GOP operative yesterday. We were marching through this neighborhood, which is basically a Hindu enclave in the high-tech zone of Alpharetta. So they're targeting Hindus. They're har targeting renters who they know are tend to be lower income, and in other words, they call them Democrats. This is the game that's being played. They don't trust the voters to make this decision. I was just talking to Latasha Brown, founder of Black Voters Matter, very concerned about this, um, very, very concerned that they have just made it so difficult to vote, get your vote counted. And then they say, okay, well, just wait in line. Five hours. Oh, by the way, no water. Right. <laughs> what? Right. And so this is, this is what's happening. I'm very concerned about the, the Abrams-Kemp race. Not not because of who I'm for or against. It's a question of they're literally, I, this is a Jim Crow 2.2. This is SB 202, but the NAACP calls it Jim Crow 2.2. And by the way, if you want to really see this, there's, you know, uh, my film. Yeah. But we're continuing this investigation. Vigilante, Georgia's vote suppression hitman, which uh, thank you to uh, George DiCaprio and Jamie Foxx. You can see for free for the next couple days at vigilantemovie.com. Right, vigilantemovie.com. So, uh, you know, down in, we're hearing from uh, North Carolina that, you know, people are complaining that they are being intimidated at the polls by, by Trump humpers. Uh, we're, we're hearing from uh, uh, Florida that Ron DeSantis, the, the Department of Justice, was going to send election monitors, and Ron DeSantis is, is saying he will have the state police arrest them, apparently, uh, that they are not allowed to come into the polling places, federal <laughs> election monitors. Uh, I, I mean, you know, well, there's hmm? go ahead. Two things coming out of this. Number one, this vigilante voter challenge system, which started in Georgia, has now moved to 10 states. A uh, key state is Arizona. Uh, yes, 10 wow. states. So we, we've got like Arizona, um, um, Wisconsin, even Illinois, Iowa, uh, but uh, Florida. We're just, you Pennsylvania, know, random people serious. can challenge but the, the other vote. Of anybody yeah they're not they're not government officials they're okay. not government officials and they're using like these uh, this is the group uh, that's behind it they're not handling all of these challenges but the main engine is the group that created this phony film 2000 mules this is claiming the true that, the vote group where the two right founders and, and were just let out of jail they're just let out of prison uh, because they wouldn't give up their sources well it turns right. out they let them out of jail because as far as we could tell they had no source they just so made they just this made this stuff up, up. Yeah, so what's uh, happening is you also mentioned this new kind of threat of violence and intimidation that is going on, and uh, which is uh, you've had this massive increase in threats, violence, and just people showing up at the polls. Remember, Georgia's now an open carry state. People have guns near the polls. It's, it's uh, you know, when someone does did go to a drop box, and again, by the way, the drop boxes are all closed today. So if you see a five-hour line, unlike California, I can just drop my ballot in a drop box. They say, oh, that, that ballot's too long. I'll just fill it out and stick it in a box. No, you cannot do that in Georgia. They've locked away the drop boxes. Right. Uh, you know, so, but this threats of intimidation, 
This is a very serious thing. The increase in violence or tone of violence is very, very dangerous stuff. And now when you add in these uh, state police forces, Georgia and Florida have created these special voting police forces. They're arresting people. And then, of course, as I show in the film, uh, Brian Kemp has arrested dozens and dozens of people over his uh, 12 years in office, and yet he's convicted no one. But it's a good way to intimidate voters. Oh, yeah. The, this is the, the slave patrols have, have, have returned. Uh, yes. You know, so, uh, Greg, we have about a minute and 10 seconds here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, if we could just recap the, the, the headline that we opened with, that two years ago, 1.2 million people in Georgia voted by mail. And today? Right. 204,000. In other words, we've just lost a million mail-in drop box ballots. A million in Georgia. And, and this is because <laughs> the new law requires you to attach, uh, what, a photostat or a, a, a copy no, of well, your driver's you, license? You can, there's all, you have to provide ID, but the biggest one is they simply eliminated the drop boxes uh -huh. and they've made it. And, and well, so I would think, you and, know, you, that you've got to put a, a photocopy of your driver's license in the envelope with the, with the ballot it would be huge. I mean, most, most people don't have a yeah. photocopy machine at home or, or even, you know, putting in numbers, it's more steps. Why are we making more, uh, more obstacles to voting instead of making voting more easy. Well, because Republicans crash. don't believe in democracy. They believe in autocracy. They want a government like, you know, Putin's Russia or Orban's Hungary. They're, they're very clear about that. They invited Orban to come speak at CPAC. Yes. So unfortunately, in Georgia, whatever they do in Georgia, what, we're, what uh, Black Voters Matter is concerned about, and uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson is telling me he was concerned about, this is the test run for 2024. In fact, the Secretary of State here said, we're going to perfect this vigilante system. Wow. Wow. That, that would be uh, Raffensperger? Raffensperger. See you at uh, vigilantemovie.com. There you go. Vigilantemovie.com. Greg Pal the great Greg Palace. Greg, thanks a lot for dropping by today. You're very welcome.